Good morning guys, it's 7.30, um, I have an exam this morning at 9, it's just around the corner from my house so I didn't have to get up too early, the um, <coughs> excuse me, um, I didn't take any melatonin last night so that I wouldn't oversleep, I just took polyramine and so um, I woke up a lot in the middle of the night. I woke up at 3 and then around 4 when Wilfred wanted to climb into the bed because he was cold and then 5 and 6 and um, I ended up waking up, like sitting up and trying to wake myself up around 6 because I thought it was too late to go back to sleep. And I think Tao is cold. She is snuggling her head into Alfie's flank. I'm getting a bit of a morning cuddle in with the puppies before I leave. Um, Wilfred was really cuddly last night and this morning he um he was wedged into a tiny gap between me and Alfie under the covers. He was very happy. Hey guys, I'm here for my exam. I'm really, really close to Spotlight, which is exciting, so I'll go there after my exam. Um, at the moment, uh, it's about 20 minutes until we start, and everyone's just sitting outside waiting in their cars, so I will do the same thing. Um, everyone's sitting in their cars studying, and it makes me feel slightly unprepared, but the same time, I feel like if you haven't learnt it by now, you're probably not going to know it. And, yeah, I mean, the, um, the point of this is just to get a passing grade. Uh, this particular unit you just need to pass, so, um, yeah. Wish me luck! I'm done! Um, I think I did okay. It wasn't too bad. It's a really beautiful day outside. So I'm going to have something to eat and then I am going to go to Spotlight. Okay, so there's been a strange smell coming from this dog shelf, dog and cat food shelf. I am going to go and investigate. I cleaned inside recently, so I'm not sure what it could be, but it smells kind of sour, almost like salt and vinegar chips, but obviously we don't have salt and vinegar chips up here, so I'm guessing something's gone rancid, and I have to try and figure it out. Update. I cleaned this out and found the smell. It was a patch of vinegar, like this big, just sitting on the shelf. I know it's vinegar because I used a wet wipe and it came up like the same color as a wet wipe and it smelled exactly like vinegar I have no idea where the vinegar came from or what it could possibly have been from so we're just I wiped it up and we're just airing out the cupboard now we're gonna have to leave it open for a while to get rid of that smell
Hey guys, I've taken off most of my makeup and my lipstick. I am kind of warm. Um, I have been studying for my exam on Wednesday and also filming a haul for that and also filming a little uh, Rilakkuma um, like stuff you put on rice video thing just because the pictures on the packets are really cute and I thought some people might like to see them um, my wall is very very blank uh, because it's actually the first day of study period 4 so I'm supposed to be putting up my new uh, timetable sheets which I will do in a moment and rinse and repeat so it just it's just stuck on this loop of like rebooting half loop thing and I can't edit on my other laptop because all my footage is on this laptop and I can't even get onto this laptop to get the footage so yes that's why I'm four days behind four days luckily I had one video that I had pre-recorded that came up this morning but I have four days of footage to edit and subtitle so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I've got prepared for vlogmas very excited um, so one of the things we're gonna do is make cake pops we'll probably do this on Christmas Eve it was on sale for five dollars so basically it it doesn't give you any of the like ingredients that you need to make them like the perishable ingredients it just gives you like the molds and like instructions and the sticks and stuff like that so we're gonna make some of these and then we are going to that we bought this last year to do for Christmas but we didn't get around to it so we are going to let me just move this we are going to make them and then put some in these little boxy things and there's another pack here these are also from last Christmas which we didn't make so there's eight um, boxes all together I think what we'll do is um, cake pops for Mr. Moose's parents and grandparents and uh, brother and his partner and um, his sister and oh Finn probably should have one of his own uh, his his nephew and then we'll probably give um, who else are we seeing around Christmas I don't think we're seeing anyone else particularly close to Christmas so we might make up the other ones and give them to our neighbors um, where we get along on either side of um, our house um, but like we've introduced ourselves and they've introduced themselves but we don't really talk to them but we do talk to our neighbors opposite um, and they have I think three generations living in that house so I think if we make three that would be nice for them and we are also making the bonbons for Christmas. Um, I think we've made them for the last two or three years in a row. They're fun to make and you can put in um, things that aren't just the bad joke in the hat. So I think this year we're going to put in something slightly more exciting like uh, nice chocolates, which I think we did last year. And I've got some cute little non dad joke things to put in here as well so those are there and there's there's snaps on oh, here they are and we've got two packets of snaps um from last year as well but i'm pretty sure they come with snaps anyway but in case we need them so that'll be another night and then this is also from last year, we didn't get a chance to make this T-Rex, so he looks pretty cool. And you can actually paint him as well, but 
I'm not sure if we'll paint him. That's kind of I'm thinking it'd be cool if we got some um, glow in the dark paint and paint it in the bird. So that'll be another night. Um, these are all things that we can, Mr. Moose and I can do together. So that's fun. And then, oh, and then we've got the hammer beads. Um, little board thing. I don't know what it's called. You use these beads and then you put the little bead on top of the dot and then once you've made your letter I think you put like baking paper on top and then you iron it if I remember correctly. It's been a while since we've used these but these, I think this set was on sale or I won it in a like a raffle or something so um, I'm gonna play around with that. Should be fun and maybe make little Christmas ornaments somehow. And then uh, this is another project. This is one that I started last year, but again, didn't have time to finish. So this paper, it's there's a name for it in English, and I can't remember what it is. It's the the kind of paper that oh, like shrinky dinks. That's what they're called. So it's like this kind of plastic, and then you draw on it with a certain type of marker, um, and then you put it in the toaster oven. Or maybe the regular oven is okay too and you have to watch it really really carefully and it shrinks and you can make into like hard plastic and you can make little keychains and stuff so we will make some of those so that's one two three four five projects there I'm also gonna make some more um, creatures this year with these neon pipe cleaners and also these more neutral tone pipe cleaners and corresponding pom poms. So that's six projects. And I'm making uh, a new banner for my room, so I'm probably going to use this paper. It's really cute. It's got like pinks and ice creams and glittery things and all that sort of good stuff. This is one that I've already started making. Mr. Most stop watching if you're watching right now because you can't see this bit. Okay, so I'm actually making Mr. Most a happy birthday octopus banner to hang up for his birthday, which is soon. So that's cute, and I'm gonna make myself one as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make octopuses, but we'll see. And then, so that's seven. Uh, this is... This is number eight. It's a solar system kit. Um, we thought it'd be really fun to make one of these. Because you can really decorate it however you want. And then I can hang it in my room. That's number eight. And then the last project for now is this. And this is to make a flower Christmas tree with these flowers and flower pots that I bought today at the spotlight and I cut them up and they're all prepared to decorate the tree and that is what the hot glue gun is for. So that's oh and I've also got um, I've also got these other flowers to add but these are all quite small flowers so I'm not sure if I'll use the tiny ones but yeah that's my little flower collection as well and that is it um I'm probably I think that was eight projects some will take more than a night to do like the solar system kit probably because I have to paint it and what else? The hammer beads, I don't know how quickly that gets, that can be done. And the um, the flower tree as well probably will take a bit more time to make. So I'm aiming for two projects a week. Um, maybe a longer project and a shorter project a week. And I was thinking for the shorter one I can maybe just film it in a vlog and then for the longer one I can make a separate video 
about how to do it, or the process of doing it, or something fun like that. And yeah, I'm really excited. I can see what you're doing, sir. <laughs> anyway, so Mr. Moose didn't know what he wanted for dinner, so I just said I'd make extra and he could have what I was having. And I'm, I made a healthy, balanced meal with all the important food groups, minus dessert. Hey, no barking. So we've got nuggets from the nugget family, veggie burgers from the vegetable burger family, mini cocktail franks. I have a coupon, cucumber and spinach goma salad and we've got um, the last of the super duper tasty yogurt with mango. And for Mr. Moose he's got everything the same but more and instead of a goma salad he has a feta olive and sun dried tomato salad. And somebody's being all the dramatic. And Alfie is being dramatic. Oh, and Tao is using the MacBook. What you doing on there? You better not be looking up YouTube videos <laughs> of cats. You look so suspicious. <coughs> that look on your face. She's like, I, I didn't mean to look that up. I don't know. Why it's on my recommended videos. <laughs> it just is. You can look up YouTube videos of this. Dance, Wilfred, dance. Performance anxiety. What? Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> Do 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 Are you mocking me? No darling, she's not mocking me. Do 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 do